Hi there, my name is Bill Grunman, and I am owner of Organic Plant Care in Flemington, New Jersey. Today I want to talk to you about sycamore trees, also known as buttonwood trees. And behind me is a large specimen uh, growing near uh, the Delaware River in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Sycamores are magnificent shade trees. They can get quite large. I've seen sycamores five, six, eight, ten 10 feet in diameter with a spreading crown of 150, 200 feet wide. And you typically see sycamores uh, growing along river bottoms in wet, sandy soils. Let's get close to this one and I'll show you some distinguishing characteristics of this tree. So here we go, here's the sycamore. Give you a wide shot of it, how tall it is. It's probably, you know, it's well over 100 feet tall with a diameter of probably five feet. And one thing you notice about this tree is that the leaves are very small. And in some case, there are no leaves on it. And it's mid-May, this tree should be fully leafed out, but it is not because it is suffering from a disease called sycamore anthracnose. Sycamore anthracnose is a disease that blights the leaf, causes the leaf to miniaturize, fall off, shrivel up. Anthracnose disease is common when there's lots of humidity, lots of rain during April and May. This tree is probably working on its third set of leaves right now. And they survive this disease because they are very thin barked. They're able to photosynthate through their bark. In other words, absorb energy, sun energy through their bark to carry on life while they don't have leaves. Uh, the bark is very chunky, very potato chip like. And if you get further up top, you can see the bark is creamy, yellowy looking, very characteristic of sycamores. Pretty cool tree. Sycamores, also known as buttonwood trees, closely, close relative to a London plane tree. You see planted along city streets. You see them in Europe quite a bit. Also pollarded, which is a type of pruning methodology. Sycamores can be harmful to horses. Horses become very sick, they are poisonous. When a horse ingests the leaves, the twigs, it can cause serious problems, very serious problems. They're also prone to lace bug damage. Lace bug is a leaf piercing, leaf sucking insect that you see quite a bit in the summer, sucking the chlorophyll out of the leaf. And there you have a sycamore tree, beautiful tree. So that's all for today. Next week, we'll talk about another shade tree. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and pass it along. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors about it, and uh, hope to see you again. Take care. Bye.